Join us here at Last Adam Tabernacle as we bring Christ to the nation. Glory be to God. Uh, give a very big hand clap to the worship team. Eh? <laughs> worship team, stand up. And the people give you a big hand clap. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, and there's one at the back. Eh? Uh, yeah. Patrick was also standing, yeah? <laughs> but he shouldn't have stood. Eh? You should, have, you, should, you should have been seated because uh, the worship was great, but the sound, eh? there was a problem with the sound. Eh? I could tell, eh? and it was Patrick's fault, you guys. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, for me, I, I'm a good guy. Eh? When things are how I tell you, eh? you know, eh? uh, I'm like God. Eh? Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Glory be to God. The Bible says that whatever you do, do it unto the Lord. Eh? And not unto what? Unto men. Eh? Hmm? Whatever you do, you guys, eh? everything that you, you work at your work, eh? Eh? at your workplace, eh? do it as unto the Lord. Eh? Hmm? Now, most especially when it comes to church or to the things, or, like the things which are primarily God, eh? hmm? do them, eh? As unto what? As unto the Lord. Eh? Hmm? Now, if people can just get that one scripture, eh? meditate upon it, eh? immerse yourself in that one scripture, eh? doing things as unto the Lord. Eh? Hmm? I'm telling you, you do a fabulous work. Eh? Hmm? Patrick, eh? just that one scripture, you first leave these things over, prosperity. Eh? You know, because prosperity cannot come, actually, if you're not doing things as unto the Lord. Hmm? Because it is God who rewards, it is God who promotes. Eh? But God can't promote someone who's not doing what, what they should be doing. Eh? Hmm? But that is a prosperity scripture. Doing things as unto, as unto the Lord. Eh? Hmm? So some guys, eh, just as one scripture alone, eh, can get your finances in order. Hmm? Amen? Amen? Sometimes you wonder whether, yeah, any people just, yeah. For you guys are okay, but those guys, eh? yeah. I mean, week in, week out, you know, just that one scripture alone, eh? you know, what would sound good for the Lord? Eh? Just always ask yourself that. Eh? Hmm? You know, eh? just what would sound good for the Lord? Eh? You live alone, what would sound good for guys who are going to come on Sunday? But what would sound good for the Lord? You know, for Jesus. Eh? Now, we're not talking about how the sound, how the people say, what well, was primarily for Jesus. Eh? You know, this is about Jesus. Eh? I wish you guys would get this right. Eh? Everything that we do here, eh? if you're doing something here, eh? You know, get Jesus in the picture. Eh? You know, for Jesus. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. You should be like Emron. Eh? For Jesus. Eh? Hallelujah. For Barbara. Eh? Amen. Give back. Barbara, Barbara because she was trying eh? <laughs> <laughs> to do something for Jesus. Eh? You know, eh? yeah, but yeah, there's some things where you, have to, you, you do it jointly. Eh? So if one person is not doing their part, eh? But the Lord rewards he that was trying to do their part. Eh? Amen? And uh, sometimes it demotes. Eh? But they do know that God demotes. Hmm? Yeah. You don't want to hear this thing. You want to hear the grace of God, you know. Eh? <laughs> but God does what? He, he promotes and also what? Yes. Demotes. God demotes. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hmm? That scripture, where is it found? Whatever you do, do it heartily. Eh? As unto what? As to the Lord eh? and unto men. Eh? Do it heartily. Eh? Put in your heart. Eh? Hmm? Put in your heart. Eh? You know, eh? and one thing about the heart is that we remove feelings. 
the heart. <laughs> Amen? So even to be, you, you know, Patrick, be same with feelings. Eh? I'm telling you, eh? that's why right now eh, I'm putting feelings in things. I'm sure you can sense my feelings. Eh? You know, eh? the heart, eh? heartily. Eh? Eh? One of the things about the heart, feelings. Amen? Feelings. Hmm? Glory to God. Amen. Hmm? Hallelujah. If you've been doing something for more than a year, really, eh, there's, you know, some things are inexcusable. Eh? Glory be to God. Uh, last week, we talked about what? Sunday. What did we talk about? What did we talk about last week? I thought you were going to say giving. Milking. We talked about milking, eh? I thought some of you are going to say, we, we, we talk about giving. I, I know there are people who left here when they are saying we talk about giving. Yeah? But we didn't talk about giving. Did we? Did we talk about giving? Next one is saying no. <laughs> Where do you let your pastor intimidate you? <laughs> you talk about giving. Amen? Your possessions. Eh? Aren't you the what? Eh? She's. <laughs> we talk about giving. And yeah, we didn't talk about giving. Did we talk about giving? <laughs> and then we talked about honoring God. Eh? Our Bible says, those who honor me, I will honor. Eh? Those who honor me with producing nice sound eh? for me. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hmm? Yeah, those who honor me, I will honor. In fact, that scripture continues and says, First Samuel 2.30, it says that, and those who Lightly, eh? esteem me, eh? all those who despise me, eh? and, and, and those who despise me shall lightly be esteemed. Now, this is God. He can lightly esteem someone. But you're the beloved of the Lord. Eh? Hmm? A beloved of God who is lightly esteemed. Hmm? You know, eh? these scriptures are not read. Eh? When they are read, they read half. <laughs> because we are in the grace, what? Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, you know, half, half. But it continues and says, and those who despise me. You can be born again, eh? going to heaven. Eh? But when you despise the Lord. Hmm? When you do what? Despise. You despise the Lord. You give him 30%. That is despising. Eh? Hmm? Hmm? Despising God. You don't give him your best. Hmm? You pass eyes through him. <laughs> that is despising. Eh? Hmm? And God is God. Eh? He will also what? Lightly esteem you. Amen? But you will go to heaven eh? because of the grace of God, you know? Amen? <laughs> but before you go, even when you get, and in fact, it's worse when you get there. When you get there, you will see how he will lightly esteem you. And there, it is irreversible. Here you can eh? uh, uh, style up eh? and catch up. Eh? But there, it is finished. And you will forever be, you, in, you know, you will always be living in a lightly esteemed estate. Yeah? There are estates in heaven. Eh? You know that. Eh? There are estates in heaven, housing estates. Eh? So there's an estate for the lightly esteemed ones. It's true. Eh? These are some of the things I, I talked about a little on uh, Thursday. Amen. Maybe I should tell you. Eh? Uh, I read a story one time. Eh? You know, I love these financial going to heaven things. Eh? I've never been there. But someone can say, no, you, that's not scripture. You're seated in the heavenly places. I know I'm seated there, but I've never been there. Okay? Anyway, so I read a story of a guy who was years ago taken up to heaven. And uh, so they were showing him people's mansions, you know. And uh, so, so there are beautiful houses and stuff. Eh? So he gets to a, So anyway, he asked to see eh, where his mansion is. <laughs> So they took him to a place like, 
what do they call it? Like it is being um, uh, um, developed. Eh? It, it, like it is just like uh, Ntinda is full. Eh? Then they move to Chihuahua, you know, and eh? you know. Eh? So they took him to a place like that where now they are beginning. Eh? You see, eh? and they told him, "Yeah, your place is here, where they're just beginning." But the guy had been born again for years, but his mansion is in a place where they're just starting. So anyway, they showed him a thing and incomplete. Eh? Then the angel told him that, and by the way, the angel was saying, and by the way, we are not sure whether we shall complete your, <laughs> your mansion. We are not sure. The way we see you, the way you are living eh, down on earth, eh, the tumani, we are not sure whether what? This thing will be completed. Amen? <laughs> you know, we are not sure because the kind of material you are sending up, eh, Hmm? Then they took him to a place also where some guys, some people who won't have individual mansions, eh? where the thing looked like, uh, where like uh, chicken, eh? a reared, eh? like a building, a chicken in there, you know, eh? you know those things on earth, eh? like a dormitory of sorts. Eh? And so there was a thing like that also where there would be Kayola. Eh? Everyone now who didn't have an individual mansion, that's who, you know. Amen? So now, that to me, that Kayolachi thing, eh, looks like what? The estate for the lightly esteemed. You know, eh? But you guys are joking with these things, eh? But for me, I stopped joking, eh? I stopped joking the day I got saved. <laughs> the day I got saved, I, I stopped what? Hallelujah. So, we talked about honoring God. Eh? Now, today, we're going to talk about something that is... Uh, Related eh, to honoring God with our possessions. Eh? Hmm? And it is a simple thing. Eh? It is very simple, by the way, very simple. V extremely simple. Eh? So you, yeah, you, now you can just relax, chill, you know. Even the sound guys, you can now chill. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, and that thing is, we're going to talk about giving, eh? the basics of giving. Eh? So it is kind of related eh, to what we're talking about, eh? That just shows that last Sunday, we didn't talk about giving. Amen. <laughs> it is today that we're going to what? Talk about uh, the basics. And you cannot talk about, anyway, the best place to find what God has to say about giving is 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and 9. Hmm? Please eh, go and read those two uh, chapters. Eh? Hmm? If you're like me, if you, if you are like me, and you want to be the all-time greatest giver, eh? Eh? you read what? Those scriptures. Meditate upon them. Eh? Give yourself wholly eh? <clears throat> unto them. Amen? Hallelujah. So what we're going to do today, we're going to read those two chapters, eh? all of them. Those two, we are going to read all those chapters. Glory be to God. Amen? And you see, they're not hard. Eh? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, let's start. Eh? Uh, Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 8. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 5. Eh? Hmm? It says, moreover, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God. The what? Grace of God. The grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. That word also means generosity. Eh? Then he says, For I bear witness that according to their ability, yes, and beyond their ability, eh? these are broke guys, eh? hmm? you know, according to their ability and beyond their ability, they were freely willing, imploring us with much urgency that we would receive the gift and the fellowship or the ministering to the saints. 
And not only as we had hoped, but they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. Hmm? Basically, what was happening, there were some saints in uh, Jerusalem eh, who were in need. Eh? Hmm? And uh, Paul wanted the churches eh, to send help, eh? you know. Eh? And these Macedonians, Gentiles, eh, you know, were broke. Eh? But the Bible says that uh, the grace of God, eh, in verse 1, eh, was bestowed on them. That in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. For I bear witness that according to their ability, yes, and beyond their ability, they were freely willing, imploring us. Eh? Another version says, begging us. Can you imagine a broke guy begging to give? Hmm? Most broke people beg to what? To receive. Eh? But these guys were begging to give. Eh? Now that's not natural. That is spiritual. Eh? Hmm? That is what? So they begged us with much urgency that we would receive the gift and the fellowship of ministering to the saints hmm? in Jerusalem. Eh? Okay? Verse 5. And not only as we had hoped, eh, but they gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. Hmm? By the way, now, this is to help you guys understand the Bible. Eh? Bible made simple. Eh? Hmm? Do you know you can read three verses eh, in the Bible, eh? consecutive, eh? you know, verse 1, 2, and 3. Eh? Hmm? And Verse 1 is saying what verse 2 is saying, and verse 2 is saying what verse 3 is saying. But in, in other words. Hmm? And almost from verse 1 up to, five, to verse 5, eh, there's just one point eh, being made. Eh, that broke guys, hmm? because of the grace that was bestowed on them, eh, they really wanted to give. They begged. Eh? Hmm? To be part of sending help eh, to Jerusalem, to Judea. Eh? Hmm? Amen? So what can make a guy who has nothing? Eh? And the Bible says also they were, they were in a trial of affliction. Eh? They were being persecuted. They have so little, you know, but they want to give. Eh? Hmm? What causes that? Hmm? The grace of God is there. <laughs> you guys, by now you should know that I'm not a deep pastor. Eh? If for me, my things are plain. Eh? I don't know this do why a scripture to it. I mean, it's there. Eh? So every time I ask you a question, it's there. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. It is the grace of God. Hallelujah. So now, this also means that uh, how you give eh, or how much you give eh, Hmm? Is, uh, is uh, basically, it's a manifestation eh, of how much the grace of God eh, has worked in your life. Hmm? Amen? Amen? This thing of just going around shouting, shouting, the grace of God, the grace of God, the grace of God, you understand? Eh? The grace of God, in the grace of God, not tithing, in the so God, you don't have to give, you, you, you know, eh? you just feel that God are just, just mental stuff, eh? But the grace of God actually hasn't worked what? In their hearts. Hmm? When the grace of God was bestowed on this, on this church, eh? these churches, eh? poor guys begged to give. Hallelujah. Hmm? So that means one of the great things eh? you can do for uh, someone, eh? beggars, eh? is to pray you know, for the grace of God upon them. Yes. Of course, you can help them with money if you can, if, you, if you're late to it. But you should also pray for it. So that now they can what? Beg to give, not beg to get. No, I hadn't even seen this. Now, last week I said things here which I didn't plan to say. 
things like milking. I didn't plan to say them. But man, as you're preaching, things, revelations come, you know? You know, like this one, a deep one. Eh? You understand? He eh? Help somebody, but then also now pray for the grace of God eh? to come upon them eh? so they can beg eh? to give. Hallelujah. Begging to give. Eh? Say, no, 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 please. Eh? I want to give. You know, eh? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hmm? Now this, now, again, now, we're talking about the basics of giving, eh? The basics of, of gi giving is not natural. I'm telling you, giving is not natural. It's not. Anytime you find someone who is a giver, eh? Just, it is spiritual, man. Eh? Whether they are born again or not, eh? someone who eh, is a gift, that thing is, it is not natural. Hmm? Giving, you know, eh? or, you know, giving is just by the grace of God. You know, they, eh, God energizes eh, somebody, eh? whether they are born again or not, eh? but giving, I can assure, is not natural. The natural thing is to get the most you can, eh? get all you can, can all you are. You know that saying, <laughs> get all you can, can all you can, you know. Eh? Giving is not natural. In fact, even when you're still getting your stuff rightfully, you're also plotting to also steal. Eh? Get, you know, eh? giving is not natural. It's not. It's not natural. So every time you find someone, a giver, eh? just no man, eh? it is a grace of God working in their lives. Eh? And basically, they have just decided, eh, the Bible says, we did not receive the grace of God in vain. You know, eh? so those people have received the grace of God, but not in vain. Eh? So they are making, they, are, they have uh, partnered, they, they have allowed eh, the grace of God eh, to work through them. Hallelujah. So, that, so we're talking about the basics of, basics of giving. You know, what, so the basics of giving, we all need eh, the grace of God. If you want to be a giver, eh? Now, me, I want to be the all-time greatest giver. Eh? Until when I'm raptured, I told some guys, I'm not dying. I'm not dying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul and John get dreams when we have about eight, eight more years to go. Eh? Those are theirs. Eh? If we have eight more years to go, yeah, I'll, you know, eh? I'll either be around, you know, or I'll have left like Enoch. But I'm not dying. I'm not what? Dying. Yeah, so, uh, why, bef the day I depart, eh, you understand? Eh? The day I may not be the all-time greatest giver, you know, now, you know, but before I am taken, eh, you know, I'll be ranking, you know, rank number one. Amen. Then other guys now can take over. <laughs> I'm very serious. Amen. But now I realize I have to pray. For God to give me the grace of giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The grace of giving. Amen. Glory be to God. Hmm? Now this was the same thing that happened. Eh? You know, now, the Bible says eh, in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Eh, it says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find what? Grace. To do what? Grace to help in time of need. In time of what? Need. Now, in the context of today, there has to come that time of need. The need to give. <laughs> the need to give. Now, even this is just coming. I didn't see it. The need to give. <laughs> A time, you know, people are always in the need. In the need to get. The need. They always have needs, 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 you know. You know, when would you ever get time? Eh? You know, a time eh? when, for, eh? you know, eh? when you need to give. I need to give. Eh? Hmm? I pray that that time will come to you. Eh? I was going to say today. But some people would say now, the guy wants us to, uh, to, to give at the end of the service. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I pray that one time, what? That time will come when you need to give. Eh? Hmm? And when that time comes, you go to the throne of grace eh? that you may find grace to help you. 
to give. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? But uh, I've told you many times, and I'll tell you again, uh, one of my greatest moments, uh, moments in life, uh, is when I have more money to give away. You know, eh? I'm telling you. When you find me very happy, eh? like you said, like it's always what joy. Eh? If you find me one day, I'm so happy. Eh? Just know I have dimes. And you, if you treat me well, eh? or if you pray for the grace of God to come upon me, you might also what? You might also get something. Eh? Some, what? A small something. Change with your dog, what? Right? Hallelujah. Amen. But I just love this, you know, eh? you know, anyway, so eh? the grace to what? Eh, in time of need, then in the time of need to give. Hmm? By the way, the moment now you, you begin to wire your mind like this, eh? when you, you, you now, you want to become a professional giver, eh? no, you will prosper, I'm telling you. Because these are the people God is looking for. Hmm? People are praying for help. Eh? People are doing what? People are praying for help. Eh? People, there are issues in this world, eh? in this fallen world. There are issues. Eh? So people are praying for help. Eh? God help them. Eh? And God wants to help them. You understand? Eh? So God is looking for a person he'll walk through. You know, eh? Now, the moment you ever wear yourself when you just, you know, you just want to give. Eh? That's your lifetime work, eh? man, you can't fail to prosper. Because the right people God is looking for. Hmm? I was going to say, someone is praying, but, but I like it. I want, okay, yeah. So, Amy is praying. Hmm? Barbara is praying. They need help. They need money. Hmm? Now, God answers prayer. Eh? <laughs> Anyway, God is a loving God. He's a loving father. So he wants to help them. Eh? You know, eh? so he's looking for peace. He's looking for somebody. Amen. He can walk through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? He's looking for, for people like that who are like, God, give me money so that I can give. Then God will allow me a 500 thou. Eh? So that you can give Barbara 100. You can give me 100. Eh? 400. <laughs> You see? So these are the guys who need the grace to what? The grace, yeah? Hey, to be able to, eh? To, eh? The, eh yeah? Who can, uh, what is that? Nugget? Ah! Uh, uh, the, 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 who can, uh, anyway, you know, yeah? Beg to give, aha, uh -huh. beg to give. Eh? Amen? But God is looking for those people, eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, in the wilderness, God wanted to build a tabernacle. Eh? You remember? So he told Moses to tell people eh, to contribute. Hmm? And the Bible says, now, guys gave man. Eh? The Bible says in Exodus 35, 21, it says that then everyone came whose heart was stirred, and everyone whose spirit was willing and they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle. Then Exodus 36, verse 5 to 6. Moses was told that man, he gave have brought too much. You see, eh? So, uh, yeah, he was told the people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded us to do. So Moses gave a commandment. And they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman do any work for the offering of the sanctuary. Amen? But the thing is, it is in Exodus 35, 21, eh, where the Bible says that everyone came whose heart was stirred up. You understand? Eh? Nothing can stir up a heart eh, like the Spirit of God, the grace of God. And the Lord says that and everyone whose spirit was willing. 
Again, this just shows that giving is not natural. Giving is spiritual. Whose spirit was willing? So if you want to become a giver, but somehow you are a man, I know I'm not a giver, you know, amen? All you need to do is for the grace of God to be imparted in your spirit. Hallelujah. There's some of you who don't want that grace. You're like, I don't want that grace. Thank you. Yeah, say other things. I need the grace of God for other things, but giving, I don't need. You know, I'm okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we need the grace of God eh, to help us, amen, to give eh, as the Lord would want us to. Hmm? And now that's the other thing. Eh? You can give, eh, but not as much as the Lord wanted you to. But if you're touched by the grace of God, hmm, you'll be like those guys, the Macedonians. Eh? The Bible says, first of all, they were broke, and then they begged. Eh? The Bible says they gave according to their ability and beyond their ability. Is that natural? No. It was the grace of God. Eh? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Brother, these are basics. Eh? These are what? Basics. Amen? Now, Jesus is supposed to be our example. Eh? Remember we said we were going to read the whole of 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9. Amen? So we go back. Eh? 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Some of you are wondering when we shall live here. Amen? So Jesus is supposed to be our example. Eh? So 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Eh? First of all, it says in 8, it says that I speak not by commandment. Eh? Basically, the whole what? Giving thing. Eh? He says, I speak not by commandment. I'm not forcing you to give. But I'm testing the sincerity of your love by the diligence of others. So now giving here is a sign of love. Hmm? And that's what I tell you like uh, most of the time. Eh? Only, you know, don't be coerced into giving, eh? You know, be moved by the love of God. Eh? So he said, I speak not by commandment, but I'm testing the sincerity of your love by the diligence of others. Then he says, for you know, so he gives an example, Jesus. Eh? He says, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. Hmm? Jesus gave it all away for you. The hmm? Bible says it was the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm? It was a grace eh, that enabled him to do that. Eh? Amen. To give so that we can have. Eh? So he emptied himself eh? hmm? so that someone else can what? Can receive. Glory be to God. Amen. amen? Now, when you do that, eh? when you give, eh? amen, Jesus said, that give and it shall be given back to you. Luke 6, 38. Eh? A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, eh? and running over. Eh? Shall men put into your bosom. Eh? So when you give, eh, it shall be given back to you. I know that is also another basic. Again, today we're not talking about anything deep. Eh? We're talking about the basics of giving. Hallelujah. Because our fellow Hallelujah. <laughs> You know, eh? Have a friend about you? Bind you. So if you don't first get grounded in the basics of giving, eh? they will confer you. The con artists are many, man. Eh? Hmm? And I hear the economy is not doing well. <laughs> not your economy. Eh? You have a kingdom economy. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And for you to reap its Benefits so that, uh, uh, so that this natural economy doesn't affect you. You have to operate the laws of the kingdom. Eh? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So anyway, if you don't know the basics, our family, the economy is doing badly. So now they have become more lethal. Eh? You understand? <laughs> you know, eh? so they need your dimes. Glory be to God. Amen. So anyway, if you don't know the, the basics, you just go far. You know, just give him, blah, 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 you know, yeah. Hallelujah. Eh? So you need the basics. Eh? Hallelujah. I've been in fellowships, eh? in churches, Christian gatherings, eh? and 
It was time to give. Time to give. And I didn't give. Hallelujah. Because I master the basics. You can't trick me into giving. Hallelujah. You cannot trick me. And some of you think I'm very kind. Eh? But some of you say so kind. Well, that's what you think. Eh? But there are people who don't think I'm kind. Huh? Rachel. <laughs> You know, eh? but some of them so kind. Right? But there are people who what? Who are like that guy is just a con artist. Huh? Why? Because they have failed eh, to trick me into giving. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> anyway, as the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 13, verse 13 to 15, it says, This is Paul. Eh? telling those guys eh, that I do not mean that others should be eased and you burden, but by an equality, that now at this time, your abundance may supply their lack. Hmm? That their abundance also may supply your lack. That there may be equality. As it is written, eh, you know, he who gathered much had nothing left over, and he who gathered little had no lack. Amen? So what this verse is saying is that eh, when you're giving, eh, like especially to someone who is in need, eh, I mean, God expects you to do that. But he said that the time might come eh, when you also, eh, you also need eh, and God will cause people eh, to also give you. Because give and it shall be given unto you. You know, eh, a good measure shaken because of running over shall men eh, put into your bosom. Eh? Hmm? Hallelujah. Hmm? Aren't you glad that you came to church today? Because we are saying simple stuff. Hmm? You don't have to say, man, that's, you know, I need to, eh? this is very simple stuff. Eh? Hmm? It is only Patrick and company who are, not, who are not glad that they came to church today. Patrick, honestly, are you glad that you came to church today? <laughs> Be honest, truthful. What? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. My desire, let me tell you my desire. Like all of you guys who have joined LAT, God told me to join LAT. Eh? You know, <laughs> my desire is by the time God tells you to leave, eh? <laughs> I would have done the best I could in you. You know, eh? and that is best for most people, it is not what you wanted. Yeah, so, but that is my principle. Eh? Anyone who says, the Lord told me to join LAT, eh? I was like, cool, you, 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 you do your things. Eh? <laughs> but my prayer to God, I was like, because you see, there are mansions in heaven. Eh? Yeah. I don't want to be staying in a dormitory, eh? a chicken <laughs> something. Eh? You understand? Eh? So now, I have to do the best with every child of God. So that God can say, well done, eh? good and faithful servant. Then my mansion, you know, it will be, you know, uh, you know that rich neighborhood eh? hmm? with the Apostle Paul. Eh? You know, eh? But eh, I'm going to stay with those guys. Eh? I'm very serious. Eh? And it's easy. Whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord. Simple. It's that simple. And with some feelings, heartily. Eh? <laughs> with some feelings. Huh? It's very simple, but you see, man, the only prophet Elvis will be near Paul, you know. Huh? I'll also be there. And so that's why I need to do the best I can with every guy eh, who said, the Lord told me to come to LAT. <laughs> <laughs> then after six months, then the Lord told me, eh, you understand? <laughs> you know, eh? but I'm like, aha, uh -huh. at least in those six months, I did the best I knew how. Glory be to God. But that, that's how I think. That's how I think. Now you know. I'm selfish. Eh? I'm thinking about what? My mansion. Eh? The neighborhood. Eh? I don't understand why you say. You understand? Eh? Hmm? There's an article I read. Eh? Some guy sent me an article. Eh? How the Bazungus man eh, planned this Kampala. Eh? I don't know if, if you've seen it, you guys. Eh? The guy said there's a ring road around Kololo Nakasero. 
That ring road <laughs> starts from Kira Road, eh? the police station. It goes Kamocha, Mulago, eh? Wandegea, Bombo Road, Kampala Road, Ginger Road, eh? then Yachama Lugogo Bypass. Eh? Then back to Kira Road. <laughs> now, in there, that's where Nakasero and Kololo are. You understand? Eh? Then, then it shows you now, like when you see Ukira, you know, road, eh? inside there, there's Kanjocha Street and, and uh, Bukoto Street. Eh? Now, that was like a buffer. And that's where now Indians were. Eh? Indians were around the what? A perimeter. You understand? And now the white guys were in the center there. Then the broke guys now, like Okira Road now, Kamocha, you know, eh? as in the Africans. Eh? You know, eh? <laughs> but guys built a thing. Eh? You know, eh? then where they put even the police stations, eh? it was for their security. They put them around that ring road. You know, eh? Then they had a school for their kids, Chitante, and the museum was for their, you know, for their leisure. You know, eh? the airstrip, eh? you know, eh? called now the independent Google grounds. Eh? It wasn't there, it was there for emergency evacuation. <laughs> In case of anything, guys were ready to <laughs> Hallelujah. And you search the push place. Eh? This is really right there, you know. Now in heaven, I want to be in Nakasero. I want to be in what? Kololo. I don't want to be in wherever Kamoe, you know? <laughs> we should call that Kamoe. What some guys in Smart from Kamoe, guys were interesting chaps. Amen? Hallelujah. Anyway, you, you understand? Yeah? Now, I was telling someone what those whites did eh, was not evil. It was not evil. It was a godly principle. Because eh? even heaven is like that. Heaven is like that. Everyone is not staying with everyone. Everyone is not what? Staying with everyone. Just imagine even you. If I gave you a billion shillings right now, would you go and buy whatever in some yeah, cachet place? No. You look for now which is the most, you know? Which is a, you know, yeah? Then you say, Kololo is full and Tinder is full. It is full, yeah? But I said, but I can buy a house in Kololo. These things of building, the stress of building, eh? the stress of building, eh? you know, eh? But then you're like, but Hannah, remain with Sam. Eh? Then you say, maybe, where? Bolavira, eh? who says eh? Bolavira, what? Anyway, <laughs> I, anyway, so I'm selfish. Eh? I want to stay in Kololo in what? Yeah. You know, that's why I, you know, eh? The best, you know, now that's why I think God sent who? Patrick here. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so that I can teach him that scripture. Eh? Whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord. Now when I do that, I'm sending building material. Amen. And my mansion is not in a, a place that, yeah, a, a new one. Like a devil of, it's already, yeah, you, you, you know, yeah? Paul is wondering, who is this guy? Who is this guy coming? Eh? You know, who is this guy? Hallelujah. Hmm? But you guys for me eh, have... Hallelujah. So anyway, what were you saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're saying, but I know we're talking about the basics of what? Of giving. Basics. Hallelujah. Amen? So... When you give to someone in need, at that time, you're taking all their needs. One time you might need, and then the Bible says, you know, eh? your needs will also be what? God will cause people also to, eh? Now, and, and that also includes if your need is to give. Not just when you don't have. Eh? Because the, there comes a time, the Bible says, when you're, you know, enriched in all sufficiency. So that in all things, at all times, you, you have it all. You understand? Eh? And now, when the only need you have eh, is to give. You know, eh? Even that need, you know, eh? People will give you the money eh, to meet that need. Hallelujah. Hmm? 
Amen? Isn't that a good need? These needs of being in need, rent, eh? need, eh? you know. I mean, that should, that should stop. Eh? When now you only have one need. Eh? Hmm? There's a guy who needs 10 ma, and that's my need. Eh? I want to sort that out. God, that's my need. You know, eh? my, fuel, uh, my car is fuel, you understand. Eh? My car is in good condition. That's my need. Eh? Someone needs a car. You know, eh? someone is wedding. My need is I want to take care of that wedding. You know, you know. You know, so that instead of people spending time meetings when it is prayer time, eh? they should be eh? putting a wedding meeting on Thursday, really. Eh? Someone should have the need eh, to say, no, 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 no. Eh? All those who want to the prayer meet, a meeting, we're meeting in whatever, no view on Thursday. They come there, I'll see you at eight. You understand? Eh? Those are great needs. Eh? Someone has issues going to school, really. Eh? Those should be the needs. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. We know all the other things just start what? They're just running after you. Amen? Like some of you, you're looking at me, you're like, man, pastor today is smart. Eh? <laughs> Amen? These things are just running after me. By the way, there are people who no longer give me money. Eh? <laughs> the guys who... <laughs> Because my greatest need eh, is uh, to give, eh, and I give people, eh, so I, I, those needs. Eh. Now, when people realize that, that they give me money, then sure, eh, the money, did it, then they stopped. Amen? So now, they decided they give me a tangible what? <laughs> like, I can't give it away. <laughs> I mean, if you give me a house, what makes you think I can't what? Especially if the, whatever, the title eh, is not... Doctor and Mrs. Hum Singuzie, where you don't have to hold a family meeting whether to give out a house. It's in my name, you know, so sure, eh? A need, eh? Shoo, you know, eh? Amen? So people now give me stuff, like, like my wife, eh? She stopped giving me, you know? Because, uh, anyway, <laughs> she stopped giving me kind of, I use this for your birthday, you know, eh? She stopped. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, anyway, so, Recently, I don't know what it was, but she decided to buy me these eh? shiny shoes. Eh? <laughs> now, on my own, eh? I can't buy, you know. Eh? Yeah. This is Elvis, you know. You know eh? Hallelujah. Elvis is the one who likes dressing like that. Eh? Hmm? Hallelujah. Denise, eh? Uh, Denise Mujeni. Yeah, that lady there with her, with her sister, Judith. Denise used to give me money. She stopped. Because <laughs> what? You know, now, there's a, a lady, Denise. Uh, I was with her on a Thursday. So, and so we talked about some stuff. Then as she left, she was like, uh, Pastor, I want to book for you at Protea for a breakfast tomorrow, eh? or Friday. Then he says, and I want also Paul and, uh, and John and Joseph, eh? you see, eh? and she said that, they, that uh, so I asked her, so are you going to give us the money? <laughs> no, not us, but them, are you going to give them the money? They said, no, 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 no. Because he said, when I give them the money, they will either give it away or buy books. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then I realized, I think that, you know, because I was but they, I'm reading the Bible cover to cover, eh? and I have to finish it in one month. Cover to cover. Eh? You could have the time. Eh? You guys don't. Eh? You have to work. You, you understand? Eh? Go work eight to five and work heartily eh? as unto the Lord. Eh? But for me, my work eh, is not that. Eh? So I'm reading the Bible cover to cover, and I'm, I'm reading it loud. And I have to finish it in one month. So I think, I realized that I, I think Friday morning, God wanted me to take a break. Because she, dis she disorganized my plan. Because now you have to go for breakfast. Eh? So you're not going to do the chapters eh? that you wanted to do real quick. Eh? Amen. So I took a break. Eh? But anyway, they need to what? To, to give. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So where were we? 
Remember, we have to read all these chapters. Eh? Hmm? Now, we go to chapter 9. Amen? Chapter 9, verse 1, the Bible says, Now concerning the ministering to the saints, that stuff of sending help eh, to um, Judea, eh? it says that it is superfluous. It is what? Now that you've said that word, I want you to tell me what it means. What does superfluous mean? I'll forgive this French word. Forgive. Amen? But anyway, this is not, today we're, we're talking about the basics. Eh? We won't talk about the basics of English. We're talking about the basics of giving. So eh? we shall get into that another time. Then he says, for I know your willingness about which I boast of you to the Macedonians that Achaia hmm, was ready a year ago and your zeal has stirred up the majority. Hmm? Now this verse, this scripture is profound. Hmm? Can you imagine giving that makes God boast about you? Now this is Wonderful, eh? when God boasts. Now, of course, this was Paul, eh? but by the Spirit, eh? boast. Now, these guys even hadn't yet given; they are just promised. And the same way, told them that by the way, fulfill your your pledges. Eh? Some of you who what pledge things and zero, eh? you know. But for me, I rarely pledge. In fact, I don't know when I last pledged. That I pledge next month, zero. I don't. Hmm. It's been a long time since I played. Hmm? Anyway, what we're talking about is boasting. Eh? When God is boasting about your giving. Now that is awesome. Eh? God boasting. Eh? Like he boasted about Job saying, you know, he told the devil that have you considered my servant Job? Say so he said, you know, eh? hmm? now, one of the CVs eh, every LAT guy should have eh, is when God boasts about you, about your giving. Hmm? Right now, God is boasting about the many prophecies you have. You missed that one. Eh? It was a joke. Eh? <laughs> you have many prophecies. So good man. Eh? You know, because the reason why you have so many is because that's the number one thing you wa- you're running after, prophecies, prophecies, you know. Yeah? Hmm? But what about when now God begins to boast about your giving? No, this is so cool. Eh? When God, and now, then he uses that, eh? you know, your CV, eh? you know, to encourage other people. Because here it says what? That your zeal has stirred up the majority. You understand? Eh? When God uses you, man, eh, as a what? As an example. You know, eh? he stops using scripture because he's like, but guy, they have refused scriptures. Eh? They have refused to read the Bible. People have read those scriptures. Give and shall be given back to you. They now go just uses you. Say, so now scriptures, but guy, now let me use a person. Eh? To stir them up. Now, this is so wonderful. Eh? Hmm? Now, this is what I want. I want to attain eh, to that level. Hmm? Meaning, this guy that just promised, and Paul wasn't sure whether it was eh, just empty words. Eh? That's why now you have to tell them eh, quickly, man, eh, when you read that. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? So, for I know your willingness about which I boast of you to the Macedonians, that you are ready a year ago and your zeal has stirred up the, the majority. Hmm? Now, God wants you to have that. Amen? That's the basics also. Again, we're talking about the basics of giving. One of the basics is eh, your giving, eh, you know, eh, should get to that level where God boasts about it. Hmm? Where God does what? Boast about it. I was telling uh, people, 
Many of you have taught in the past, eh? but I was telling guys again on Thursday that years ago, Elvis, uh, Prophet Elvis, eh? Elvis, Prophet Elvis. The people who, 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 who get offended if you don't add Prophet. <laughs> okay, Prophet Elvis. <laughs> but they call the other guy Benny. They never add Pastor Benny. You understand? Eh? Anyway, they think that's strange. <laughs> you know, people are thinking about what misses them up. Eh? And I saw Elvis. <laughs> yeah, years ago, like three years ago or so, he had a vision one time. Eh? He was taken, like, in a vision, it was an open place. Eh? Then he saw, like, a priest, eh? like a high priest, you know, clothes, light, you know, eh? like a priest. Eh? And that priest was offering sacrifices unto God. Eh? You know, eh? no, he was with Jesus. Eh? And Jesus was showing him this priest eh, who was offering something to go, and then it would go up. Eh, and then at a certain point, what he had sent up would come back upon him, you know. Eh? You see, eh? and Elvis wanted to see who that priest was. Eh? So sh- move by, you know. Sh- <laughs> Hallelujah. And you know who it was. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, don't you think eh, God was boasting about me? Hallelujah. Amen. You've read that book. Give me a copy of that book. Amen. You've read that book, How Mariam eh? uh, Dreamt, eh? you know, and then uh, anyway, when God was like, eh? imitate that guy. Hmm? And then what's her name? Patricia, eh? you, are, you know, it is in chapter 10. You know, eh? when God was like, imitate that guy, if you are not prosper. Hmm? So God wants us, you know, eh? wants, you know, anyway, work towards eh? God boasting about your what? Your giving. Again, I'm not talking about amounts. You understand? Eh? I'm not talking about amounts that you gave 500 M. You know, that's not the point. You can give 500 M when God is like, no sense. I'm not talking about amounts. Eh? Hmm? All you need to do, pray. For the grace of God eh, to work in your life. Eh? The grace that worked on the Macedonians. Eh? Poor guys. Eh? That guys begged to give. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Verse 6 and 7. We're nearly through the chapter. That's good. Verse 6. And seven, it says, But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Hmm? It is that plain, eh? that clear. Eh? There's no deep revelation eh? with that verse. It is just that. Hmm? You sow little, you reap little. You so much, you reap much. Eh? This verse was not begun by corn artists, eh? by shady milkers. Eh? You understand? <laughs> it was written by a loving milker eh? <laughs> under the inspiration of God. Eh? Hmm? Says, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Then you say, now it's up to you. He says, so let each one give as he purposes in his heart. Amen? Hoping that the grace of God is working in his heart. Amen? Then he says, Give as you have purposed in your heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. Hmm? For God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. God loves a cheerful giver. Hmm? Get that scripture in the other amplified. There are two amplified, but in the other one, you know it. What that loves a cheerful giver means. By the way, that word cheerful also means Hilarious. Amen? Hilarious. Like every time I hear that word, eh? hilarious, eh? 
It reminds me of Robert Slayer. Don't you? He's the one who told me that word. I went through smart, okay, but I didn't know the word hilarious. Until when I got saved and I began to listen to Robert Slayer. Don't you? I say hilarious. In fact, it sounds cool, hilarious. You know. Yeah? <laughs> so when I get an opportunity, I use it. Eh? Hilarious. <laughs> Hallelujah. God loves a hilarious giver. Hmm? Let each one give as he has made up his mind. Hmm? That also means you shouldn't be coerced into giving. Give as you have made up in your mind. If you have made up not to give, don't give. You never know that not giving and not wanting to give. It is the spirit of the Lord. Telling you, man, that is a shady project. It is coming to nothing. Don't put there a dime. Hallelujah. <laughs> you guys, you should be led by the Holy Ghost in your giving. Eh? <laughs> Let each one give as he has made up his own mind and purpose in his heart. Not reluctantly or sorrowfully or under compulsion. For God loves. This is what loves means. He takes pleasure in. Prizes above other things. And is unwilling to abandon or to do without. A cheerful, joyous, prompt to do it giver. Whose heart is in his giving. Now, really, eh? Shouldn't we all live for this? Eh? You know, eh? honestly, eh? when God takes pleasure in, prizes above other things, and is unwilling to do, to abandon, or to do without you, a hilarious, joyful, prompt to do it giver, whose heart is in his giving. Eh? Now you see heart. Eh? Eh? Whatever you do, do it heartily, <laughs> as unto the Lord. Eh? Eh? So even giving now just some feelings. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, eh? he loves. He takes pleasure in. Prizes above. Is unwilling to do without or to abandon. A hilarious giver. Hmm? Now, this is wonderful, eh? These are the CVs people should be going for. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then there are results. Eh? Results of giving. Eh? Results. As we feel, again, basics. Eh? Basics of giving. These are basics. Eh? Amen. The deep things about giving, you hear them in another church, a fellowship, you understand. These are basics. Eh? Amen. Yeah, verse 8 to 11. It says, God is able to make all grace abound toward you. Hmm? Yeah? All grace to abound toward you. That you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. You have all that you need. Eh? And what you have, what other thing you need, you need is giving. And you have even what? You have it. Hmm? So that's verse 8. Eh? Do you know that verse 9 says the same thing in other words? It says, he has dispersed abroad. Hmm? He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His righteousness and yours forever means you are forever doing good things. Eh? Righteousness in the Old Testament meant doing good. Hmm? So his righteousness and yours forever, meaning that you're always giving, you're always meeting needs, you're always a blessing. Eh? You know, always, forever, eh? your righteousness is enduring. It remains, eh? it never stops. Hmm? And that's what verse Eight was saying. Hmm? Then verse 9, verse 10 rather, says the same thing. It says, now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown 
Why? And increase the fruits of your righteousness. Hmm? You're doing good. Eh? Because now the seed has been multiplied. The seed for sowing. Glory be to God. While you are enriched. Verse 11 now is saying the same thing in, in, in other words. Eh? You know, it says, while you are enriched in everything, for all liberality. Hmm? Which causes, a result is here, another one. It says, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. You want God to receive thanksgiving? Be a blessing. Eh? Meet someone's need. Eh? Meet the needs of the kingdom. Eh? Meet the needs eh, of Zoe Fellowship. Eh? Man, eh, more, I believe even people who attend, a good number of people who attend that fellowship, eh, it doesn't dawn on them eh, what they're dealing with. Man, if God, if you want to see God in this country, eh, you know, eh, man, that Elvis, eh, this thing is heaven. Eh? So you even pity people who are you know, who try to antagonize him. They are coming against God. Eh? And I think some are innocent, but eh? he, because the thing is too much, like, this must be a devil. Eh? This is impossible. Eh? But there are those who know it is of God, but it's just envy. Eh? Hmm? And, but meet eh? the needs of that fellowship, you, you, you know. Eh? Amen? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hmm? Amen. So, thanksgiving. Eh? So, you meet the needs of fellowship. You meet the needs of people. The needs of your church. The Bible says, it causes thanksgiving eh? to go to God. Then verse 12. For the administration of this service not only supplies the needs eh, of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgiving to God why through the proof of this, of this ministry, they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ, for your liberal sharing with many and for all men. Hmm? Then another result of your giving in verse 14, it says, and by their prayer for you, who long for you because of the exceeding grace of God in you. This primarily means, eh, I read it in another uh, 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 another uh, version. Eh? It basically means that people will pray longingly for you. Hmm? When they pray for you, eh, but there be some feelings. This is what it means. Huh? You know, when, you know, the Bible says they will pray longingly for you. Not just think about Father, uh, bless fortune. Bless him, may all his needs be uh, supplied. Uh, Father, uh, bless Jessica. Father, meet all her needs. Eh? And now, Father, also, you know those things. Eh? But when they come to your name, eh? you know, Father, Brother Moses. You know, they are even faster. <laughs> Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, they even start. They want the prayer to be serious. They start with Father in the name of Jesus. But for you, they said, Father, may you bless, may you take it. But for Brother Moses, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for Brother Moses. You understand? Eh? <laughs> when we just came back from the States a uh, month ago, there's a guy who called me up, eh? someone, not in this church, eh? but Bambi, they had issues. Eh? They had been locked out of their houses eh? because of rent. Eh? And now they needed to pay three months' rent before they get in back. So he called me. Eh? So I had some money. So I called him up. In fact, was a, the guy was but saying, I can't come in public. I'm staying somewhere in some church. Eh? I haven't paid for me. So I, I can't. I'm like, you just come. I'm here. I'll give you money quickly. Then you run. They open your house so that you can shower. So I gave him the money. Three months' rent. Eh? Then, like... I think after like two weeks, the guy writes to me. He says that since you gave me that money, I've been praying for you. I've been praying for God to give me a word for you. You understand? But he says, as I was giving up, like it wasn't, as I was giving up, 
I had this dream. Man, it was a powerful dream. I won't tell you the dream, but that dream will get fulfilled. Eh? And when it gets fulfilled, I will tell you eh, what that dream was. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The basics of giving. Have you been blessed? Hallelujah. Lift your hands and bless the Lord for what you've had. And bless his holy name. Last Adam Tabernacle, Christ for the Nations.